Hi, I'm Brad, Cougar Ridge Ranch, 7,000 feet, eastern Utah. As you can see behind me, we've got the hummingbird feeders. We have quite a few. We have hundreds, if not thousands, of hummingbirds here. This is their summer nesting. And uh, the question always comes to me, how do you keep ants and bees off your hummingbird feeders? <laughs> How do you keep ants and bees off your hummingbird feeders? Of course, you can put uh, cinnamon candies in your, in your uh, one cup of sugar to two cups of water uh, nectar and melt in a tablespoon or two of, of uh, cinnamon candies, and that gives a cinnamon flavor to the nectar. The hummingbirds don't mind it, the ants hate it. The only problem with that is if you have bees like we do, they love cinnamon, and so they come for it. So we don't want to kill the bees. We want to just repel them. We don't want to just tell them it's kapu. You can't have it. But the ants, we do kill them. We don't want the ants coming back. They have a tendency to climb in and plug up the feeders. So uh, I'll show you how we, re how we uh, kill the ants and keep the bees away without killing them. There's two ways to keep ants away. But one of the ways attracts bees. If you will put uh, cinnamon oil in your sugar, and it doesn't really do very well, so I usually buy the red cinnamon candies and uh, melt those into your, into your uh, one part sugar, two parts water hummingbird mixture. Uh, it will turn it red, but it also gives it a uh, cinnamon flavor and ants don't like cinnamon but bees do like cinnamon so if you're close to somebody's beehive or if there are bees in your area you'll probably attract bees so how do I keep bees from getting on my feeders I just use tea tree oil little tea tree oil on I'm gonna try and do this with one hand holding the camera here I put a little tea tree oil on a cotton ball and then you just you just wipe it onto the little feeding stations on your hummingbird feeder like that and these feeders these are my favorite feeders these are Dr. JB's hummingbird feeders uh, I like them because they're big. They hold a they hold a whopping half gallon each, and uh, I'll show you in just a second how many I have up. We have so many hummingbirds here. Okay, so that's what we do. So that keeps the bees from uh, harassing the hummingbirds. Okay, so here's. Here's the hummingbirds, and you can see I've got a spot where that one we were just working on goes. Uh, we have a lot of hummingbird feeders. These are hornet traps. Put some fruit and sugar water in them, and the hornets go in those, and it keeps the hornets away. So there you have it. Um, it's not that hard to keep the bees off your hummingbird feeders and to keep the ants away. Now, another way to keep ants away that I use, um, use a thing called Pemectrin, Pemectrin 2. You can usually find it at a hardware store. It's in a little quart bottle. And uh, I go to the, I go to the farm store and I get it in a, in a spray can and you just put it on the top of the feeder like this and let it dry. Pemectrin is a very interesting chemical in that it will it will kill for 30 days it'll kill insects for 30 days even dry. All they have to do is touch it and they're a goner. So uh, that's how I keep ants away uh, if I'm not using 
cinnamon because the cinnamon's attracting the bees. Okay, so there you have it. Keeping the bees off your hummingbird feeders and the ants away. I'm Brad, Cougar Ridge Ranch, 7,000 feet, high you in the mountains of Utah. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to our channel and check out our other channel, kawaiigirlsoap.com is our website or Kawaii Girl Soap on YouTube. It's K-A-U-A-I for all of the interesting handmade stuff that we make here. Thanks for watching. So long.